Today we're gonna be doing another taste test and we're doing uh, a kudus kudus. Cotton candy. Pee pee. As you can tell, we have random flavors as well as the original. We have pickle, we have fries and ketchup, pizza, cookies and cream, banana split. You see what's going on here. And we're gonna test drive. Right, honey bottom? Right. So for this video, Honey Bottom's not gonna be Honey Bottom. She's gonna be Cotton Candy Bottom. <laughs> All right, Cotton Candy Bottom. Which cotton candy are you most excited for? I am personally most excited for the cookies and cream because uh, I don't know how it's gonna taste as a cotton candy. Pee pee. I'm looking forward to the donut cotton candy because I feel like they did it right. They took the sweetness of a donut and they put it in a cotton candy. What about the one you're least excited for, Honey Bottom? I mean, Cotton Candy Bottom. I don't know, I guess the fries and ketchup because that's kind of weird. Yeah, I was thinking fries and ketchup for the pizza. Let's get into it! First item! <laughs> All right, guys, the first cotton candy that we're gonna taste is the original, so we have a baseline. So we're just gonna pop that off and it smells like cotton candy. You wanna test drive the smell? Mm, smells right. like the fair. Get in there and get dangerous. Get a little bit of both. Yeah. It's like a gender reveal party in a oh, bucket. <laughs> gender reveal. You wanna ding it? Ding. Uh -uh. Very cotton candy. The blue is overpowering the pink. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you. Good thing I have an appointment with my dentist next week. There you go. <laughs> now that we have a baseline for the cotton candy, it's just the typical cotton candy that you get from a fair or a gas station or whatnot. What's your thoughts on it, Honey Bottle? Yeah, I think it's pretty standard, you know, just like every other cotton candy you've had in your life. Let's get extreme. <laughs> All right guys, so now we're gonna try the pickle flavored cotton candy. This one I'm a little nervous about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it's gonna taste really weird. When I was in fifth grade, I went to an elementary school where the entire school was pickle themed and they had pickle pizza every Thursdays at the local pizza place and it was interesting. Oh no. <laughs> this is gonna taste bad. It smells like feet. <laughs> Ew. This smells like feet after a nice long run at the gym. Oh, oh my no. god. Oh, <coughs> oh no. <coughs> what does that taste like? Garbage. <laughs> I wonder if they use real pickle juice in this. That's horrible. <laughs> okay, never buy this. This is literally ranked the worst cotton candy that ever exists. I think that the pizza and the fries and ketchup one's gonna be significantly better than this. They have found a way to turn garbage into cotton candy. <laughs> It's disgusting. I agree. Ball 13. Not All right, guys, the next cotton candy that we're gonna do is birthday cake. And hopefully it's gonna taste good to get the disgusting pickle feet taste out of my mouth. So, nice whiff. It smells like cake batter. I feel like this is gonna be good. This might be mm. one of the best ones. This one yeah. might even be better than the, the original. Okay, that's good. <laughs> it's got a smell. It's, it's like a nice, it's a, it's a cotton candy patty. Not bad. Mm, mm -mm. I don't like cotton candy, but this is definitely edible. This is very good. Mm -hmm. Very sugary, very sweet. Definitely tastes like cake batter. Like when your mom would let you lick the spoon, even though you're not supposed to do that because there's eggs in it. You don't have to do it because now you can go to the store and buy birthday cake cotton candy. Sometimes you gotta give a spanking. <laughs> you push it and then you can make it Shelby. hard as a rock. You okay? Yeah. Need some water? I'm good. Want a birthday cake pancake? <laughs> no. I look like a grandpa. <laughs> next item! All right guys, next item is gonna be the pizza flavored cotton candy. Mm. What do you think about this one? Is it gonna be cheese? Or cheese and pepperoni? Or supreme? Who knows? Let's I think it's out. gonna be cheese and pepperonis. Okay, it smells like um, combos. Yes, like the little combo chips where they take a pretzel and they roll some sort of pizza flavoring in it. Mm -hmm. That's what this smells like. Peep game? Now just take the whole patty. No just take the whole I... patty. There you go. <laughs> this looks like home insulation that you put in your it walls. It does. It looks like like spray foam. Ew! Ah! Uh. Oh no! Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh. <coughs> It doesn't even taste like pizza. No. Like it tastes like insulation. 
Yeah, do not eat your home's insulation. The sad part is there's people who go out there and they buy this on purpose and they're like, you know what flavor is my favorite? The pizza cotton candy. Absolutely disgusting. Whoever likes pizza and pickled flavored cotton candy, there's something wrong with your mouth. Who are you and where can we find you? Next out! All right, guys, the next item is gonna be the cookies and cream, Kudis and Candice. And this is the one that Cotton Candy Bottom was looking forward to the most. So let's just pop it on open. It smells like the protein shakes mix that you make in, in, in the little blender bottles. Mm -hmm. I wonder if we have to get a little bit of each. Yeah. <laughs> Take a bite. <laughs> we got a lady in the jury. <laughs> That's not bad. <laughs> it tastes like a s'more. Mm -hmm. Look at the layerage. This is a big s'more. So far, it's my favorite. Mm -hmm. Even more so than the cake batter one. The best way to enjoy the cookies and cream, Kudis and Candice, is to take the whole thing out and just eat it like this. You're gonna eat the whole thing anyway. You might as well enjoy it in a fun way. Make it like a hamburger, make it like a s'mores, and test drive. <laughs> Next up is banana split. Ooh, split that banana. I don't know how I feel about this because I don't really like bananas in the first place, but. Well, you also gotta think, it's a banana split. So there's always gotta be the ice cream, the chocolate, and the banana. So once again, you have to get a little bit of all three. Honey, why don't you go ahead and just take you a little bit of the strawberry, oh, or all of the strawberry, a <laughs> little bit of the chocolate, and a little bit of the nana. This also resembles the insulation that comes in your home. <laughs> Depending on what your, your home is built, it either will look like that or it'll look like that. Let me let me get me a trifecta of goodness. One, two, three, test drive. What do you think it tastes like, cotton candy bottle? The banana's very overpowering. It is. It tastes like nasty banana Laffy Taffy. I don't like it. Tastes better than the, the pickle or the pizza, for what that's worth. So you want to know what's next, cotton candy bottle? What's that? All right, guys, the next item we're gonna do is the fries and ketchup version of the cotton candy. So, this has been mixed. So you got the yellow, which indicates the french fries, and the red, which indicates the ketchup. So, it's, it does smell like throw up, I'm not gonna lie. Oh no. Here, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna get a whiff? Oh no. Oh honey. Yeah, this is gonna be bad. This smells like the, uh, like one of the, oh that's fun, look at that. Insulation. Um, here's your half. This definitely smells absolutely terrible. I don't like it. We're just gonna jump right in here and we're just gonna test drive. Let me get a little bit of both. I don't like it. Eh. Mm -mm. This flavor makes you want to cry. I would rather eat the pickle. It doesn't even taste like fries and ketchup. No, it tastes like dirty bottoms. Like this tastes like licking like a sweaty foot. I wanted you to say something else, not foot. Sweaty balls. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me if you guys are eating this on purpose. Tell me that you guys are buying for $4.99 plus tax and sitting in there with your favorite TV show just down in it because I, I need to know what's wrong with your mouth. I bet they made this as a joke for videos. Maybe. That's exactly what they had to have done. But not that many people make videos so, and they sell it in their store. Well, they need to stop because that's disgusting. I guess like they're kind of appealing to people that want to try something new. Well, it's not even good. Yeah, but they don't know that when they buy it. So. <laughs> they already got our $5. Next time! Okay guys, next up we have the unicorn flavored cotton candy, which, what's a unicorn flavor, honey? I don't know. What do unicorns taste like? Balls. <laughs> According to this, it's a mixture of grape, apple, cherry, and blue raspberry. Yummy! Pee pee. pee up, there's pee pee in there? It doesn't really smell like anything other than just like regular cotton candy. Yeah, it, but it is very visually appealing. If you look, look at all the colors that are in there. And the top of it looks like a galaxy. Kind oh, of thing. this is galaxy flavored. Um, It's sugar, by the way, you need to change the name of this. No more unicorn. Okay, galaxy. I think we should try each of the flavors individually. Okay, here. Oh, it looks like uh, the Trix yogurt. 
you know, we're- It does! <laughs> this is like they combine two different flavors of Trix yogurt! Silly wabbit, Trix are for kids. I'm gonna test drive the blue. I'm gonna tr test drive the red, which I'm guessing is cherry. Mm, blue's okay. Purple. In a weird way. <clears throat> if I'm remembering on my palate correctly, it does have a similar taste to the Trix yogurt. This is good. The cherry and the apple are both good individually and together. Mm, okay, cherry. Ew, green. Ew, I did like it. I thought it was good. To be fair, this one is sour. That one is just sweet. I did like it. I like it. All right, babe. Next time. All right, guys. Last but not least, we have the Frosted Donut Cotton Candy. And I've been looking forward to this one because I feel like this is gonna be the best one out of all the cotton candies that we have tried. It definitely smells like a nasty donut. It smells like the donuts that you get from, oh, shit. <laughs> so it almost smells like the donut that you get from Universal Studios, the big pink donut mm -hmm. from the Simpson donut. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. That's exactly what it smells like. All right, honey, you want a peep game? I'm gonna take a little bit of both colors. You know how I like to do. <laughs> I like to just get all up in there. I like to, I like to get the fluffy pieces. It's like cake batter. Bad, I think it's bad. Mm. Yeah, bad. That's such a weird flavor. Oh my god. <laughs> Why? Why does it gotta taste like this? Like, I don't even know how to describe that. This is the worst, best flavor that I thought I was gonna have. It's down there now with the pizza and the ketchup and fries and the pickle. Those three are the, are the worst, and then this one's number four for bad. All right, cotton candy bottom. What's your final thoughts on the cotton candy? What was your favorite and what was your least favorite? Go! My favorite was the cookies and cream. Least favorite was the pickles. <laughs> Ew, yeah, the pickles were definitely disgusting. I would say that my least favorite was probably the fries and ketchup. Bruh. And my favorite, <laughs> it, made me, it made me want to throw up just thinking about it. And my favorite was probably the cake batter. So I think for the price point of this, each one of those tubs of cotton candy was $5. So five times nine quick math $45 $45 for this one video I think that I think that was a pretty good deal what do you think snack yeah I think so <laughs> although they're never getting my $5 again for the fries and ketchup the pickle or the pizza or the donuts ew I think you should just stick to the primary just normal cotton candy and don't try to mix it with nasty flavors that don't make any sense like who wants pizza and fries and ketchup cotton candy I sure don't yeah, especially when it doesn't even taste like it. They said, you know what pizza tastes like? Yeah. Let's go the opposite way of that. And this is what they came up with. Hot garbage. I think they had a generic hot garbage syrup for all of the weird flavors. And they just like put it on a spectrum and they just like, oh, more hot garbage, less hot garbage. Anyway guys, that does it for this video. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button. Stay tuned for more behind the scenes. We'll see you in the next video. Pee pee. Pee pee. Good. All right, guys, even though we threw the cotton candy away, we're gonna dump it in the sink because I'm curious to know what color it's gonna turn. I bet it's gonna just be pitch black. I'd say like a, a good brown. Ooh, maybe maybe like a, a diarrhea green. Ooh, look at this. This is almost looking fun. Look at that, that that's quality. It's like a nice colorful pillow that you would see on like the movie The Trolls or something. Now that we got all the cotton candy sitting in the sink, let's turn her on and let her rip. Ooh, how satisfying. Ew, look at the pickle, it's so nasty. I don't know if we're supposed to be putting this down the sink or not. Oh, the smell, Ugh. Yeah, I don't think we were supposed to put it down and put the hot water on. Oh like, no, like I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> oh no, honey. This is such a bad idea, why did you let me do this? This is your idea. I know it was my idea, but you could have told me it was a bad one. I could have. Yeah, see now I'm gonna have to buy a new sink. I think I made a bad mistake. We'll know in a couple days when the garbage disposal gets backed up.